is connected to the cylinder. The cylinder M1. Yeah. And here in the middle position we have blocked position everywhere. Yeah. And like I said, this is a proportional valve. Middle position with springs operated by proportional magnets. Yeah. One is straight position, the other one is the cross position. See here we go to the tank, that's the pressure line, that's A and B. Okay. And here we have cut the pressure. And we do measure, we do measure uh, the, the location. Okay, we do measure the location of the, of the cylinder. Yeah. So here is location measurement. B. That's the location B1. Okay, and here we have the QM1. Yeah. The big valve. Now, if we measure a certain position uh, and we want to reach another position, uh, let's say we measure this position and we want to reach the desired position would be here. Uh, the desired position would be here. This is desired. Wanted position. Yeah, or position set point, however you want to call it. We are comparing the measurement and the desired position. Yeah. Desired position is coming from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the desired position, we are comparing those two. And right now, we need to, we need to get out. Yeah. Move to the outside. So we have to move the straight connection. Yeah. Pressure, we need here pressure and relief pressure here. So. Here we do a compare with whatever comes out of this compare plus or minus, yeah, we multiplicate with proportional factor. Okay, yeah. and so this is compare. So we have a delta x. Huh? And our magnetizing current huh, here is k multiplied by delta x. If the magnetizing current is positive, I will put it here. If the magnetizing current is negative, I will put it here. Okay. And so if I am now far away from the desired position, I will move this to full extended. This will start move pretty fast. Okay. If I'm getting closer, this, depending on this gain factor, this proportional factor here, this the magnetic current will get reduced. We will slowly move in middle position, yeah, and this will get slower. And the further I go to the desired position, at exactly the desired position, we will have middle position. Okay, we will probably stop a little bit before because then it's just leakage oil or something like this. Huh? So this is a position control loop. Huh? Measure position, know where we want to go, depending on the difference. Yeah? Adjust the magnetizing current of the proportional valve and let the let the cylinder move. Okay. Positioning control loop. What if? What if this is a really big cylinder? Yeah. Then we do it with a two-stage hydraulic. Yeah? We do it with a two-stage hydraulic. It looks pretty much like that. Yeah? So there is the cylinder on the top. I will not draw it. However, there is a big proportional valve. Okay, and there's a smaller proportional valve. Mm -hmm. 
both are centralized or both are put to middle position with the help of springs. Yeah. Middle position is blocked at both. Straight position. So they are really looking quite the same way. Here we have the P connector, here we have the tank connector, and of course this is a proportional valve, this is a proportional valve, so I make the stripes here. Here we go to the cylinder, yeah? so this is A and B. Yeah? Here we go to the pressure line, and here we also go to the tank. Yeah? Everything looks the same, but now here We are controlling the position of the main piston, of the piston of the big control valve. This is hydraulically controlled by a smaller control valve. Okay? This might be also inside one valve as well. Huh? Or they are really two separated valves. Just a design. Usually they are two separated ones. This is a big one, which already has the mounting plate for the small one at the top. Uh, this is how this is usually looks like. Looks like. And of course, we need here a position measurement. Uh, and depending on this position measurement, The current of the, of the pre-control valve is selected. Yeah? So, and now I draw the cylinder because I have the space up. Let's call it again MM1. There is Again, the position measurement, and there are the lines which are which go to the two chambers. So, how this is working now? Now we do it exactly the same. We have a desired position, or we draw it simply the, the same. Desired. Yeah? From the proportional factor K, we know now not the magnetizing current already, we know the position of the main control valve shall be in this direction or in this direction. Then we know a desired position of the main control valve, we know where the main control valve is currently located because we measure the position of the piston, yeah? and depending on the difference of this position, measure position and the desired position, we control this control valve. So this is a two-stage approach. Yeah? So the small control valve is controlling the big control valve and the big control valve is huge enough to have a big hose here yeah, that enough oil can rush through to this, to this bigger cylinder. Yeah? Or maybe the cylinder has to travel with a lot of speed, something like this. Yeah? We need a lot of oil, so we need a point big big uh, uh, control valve. And the control valves usually, you know, big control valves are usually not, not uh, controlled directly by current, because I would need a lot of current, simply. Huh? And so I'm selecting pre-control, okay? two-stage 